Hey everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at you. And we're so glad. Surprise. <laughs> and we're so glad that you're here and we do pray that you guys are blessed by what the Lord has to say today. I'm excited. Uh, it's been a while since we've had a video together. Uh, we had yeah. a few small bits and pieces here and there with uh, Joa and I and then mm -hmm. You in the background, kind of narrating. I think we narrating. did one together this whole like last three months. Yeah, so it's one. it's been it's been a while, but I am yeah. excited um, to get to share with you guys and have us together sharing with you what God has been doing and speaking in our lives over oh these last gosh. few weeks. And um, now you know right away that's not going to fit into this one video. So just yeah, <laughs> we'll probably be hinting at a lot of things, and you guys will be like, "What is that? What do you mean?" And then we won't explain it and then you'll just have to write us in the comments what did you mean by this <laughs> tell us this part you know <laughs> yeah but but we will do our best to just kind of share and an overview and just whatever the Lord has for us to share today um, so we do pray that you guys are blessed by that and um, but before we begin yeah. as always uh, we want to give a huge thank you to everyone who um, continues to support us yeah. um, and has supported us a huge thank you to everyone who supported us as we went to uh, the Bible Bee that was just miraculous yeah truly <laughs> it was like, um, for us to be able to like get there's there there's no way I was like it has to be God yeah because we cannot we cannot shave any part of what we get to stay here and feed and clothe and all that stuff we can't yeah because it, it's we literally have just enough to do that most of the time yeah so so yeah, huge. So huge, huge thank Praise you to, to all the Lord, of you. you know? And um, we are support based, so if you would like to give to us, you can. We have a PayPal link, Cash App, and Venmo below, and you can click on any of those and give there. Um, and we just really appreciate um, all of you who give. Also, a huge thank you for um, those who support us through prayer. Um, it's just, mm -hmm. even just knowing that other people are praying for us is a huge blessing, and we just really appreciate it yeah. and um yeah and just know we are also praying for you guys that god would just bless you mm -hmm. um increase you and just do what he has promised in your own lives so um yep. yeah so with that uh where do we begin well <laughs> um on the uh financial issue let's start there do um, you guys remember the boat vision? The boat, I'm, I'm worried about finances and we're coming to that waterfall and the boat goes off the edge and I'm like, ah, and then it sprouts these six wings. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I, and I was believing that, now listen, I'm going to tell you the whole story so that you can understand like I guess I don't want this to come across the wrong way, so I'm going to give the context. Because when you tell a story, you have to build, right? You know? And so, um, <laughs> I was going to say something about a certain company that's not doing that right now in the movie industry, and but I was like, ooh, I don't know if YouTube would like that, so no, maybe I shouldn't say that. So I decided not to say that. So all that to tell you what I wasn't going to say. So... <laughs> But, so with the boat vision, and going to the Bible be like, here's the waterfall, right? And our boat was just like, whoa. I mean, even though we had the provision and everything, it was still just like, here we go. I think this is, I think this is it. I think this could be the boat going off. Because <laughs> um, even then, we barely, we were just, we were being very specific with. We were like, right on the edge, literally. Like, if you think of the waterfall vision and the boat, it's like it's on the edge. It's I felt like on the edge. that really yeah. was our whole time there. It was yeah. like we were on the edge. And it was like, okay, Lord, like we are riding this edge yeah. <laughs> here. And, and go ahead. Well, and their food was not the greatest, but we had to eat it because <laughs> we didn't have no other choice. <laughs> It's like we, cause it, was, it, it, was it had already, been, it had already been paid for. <laughs> yeah. With the fees and everything, so it's like we better we, and so um, yeah, it was definitely camp food, but um, but then we go through that whole amazing thing, right? Um, 
and then we come back here and I think once the once our YouTube community this is right I, I don't want you guys to take this the wrong way okay I don't but it's like once our YouTube community gave everything to get us there it was like oh man okay like like Lord what are you gonna do once we get back you know what I'm saying and and so when we come back we have um, you know other elements of our life that we'll probably get into here later on but yesterday I made a kind of an update and then it was but it was kind of a slash casting the nets video because I was like man we're like a week behind on our payment here and all that and and I think literally five people <laughs> responded to that video mm -hmm. and I was like oh my god okay now this could have gone one of two ways because as of right now we still have no money to pay for here but you know what? here's the cool part they um so i want you to get all the pieces okay because i'm not playing a fiddle for the lavor family um um and some of you are probably like well didn't joe just win ten thousand dollars he did but we have no idea where that is or where that's coming from and that's money he won you know so we're treating it in that way Mm -hmm. Like he won that. Now he's already expressed, no, I want to help to sustain if we need money. To, and it's like, that's great. But I'm not putting my heart on it like, oh, okay, we're going to get this and we're going to get that and we're going to do this and we're going to do that with his money. You, you yeah. see what I'm saying? And, and even in that, it's like there's a whole process you have to yeah. go through to even receive it. We just did like a money request thing and she said, make sure you get it in before December 31st. And I was like, oh, wow, he might not even see this money till next year. Yeah. And I'm like, so, it, and I feel like the Lord put it on my heart. Uh, so that's why I'm telling you the whole story, okay? I felt like the Lord put it on my heart. Like, don't put your, don't put your trust in that money coming in. Don't, don't do that. And I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I'm just going to put my trust in you because we, <laughs> and so, so literally I think five or six people responded, just the super loyal, not because I'm just saying like some people have it some people they don't some people they want to give we know what it's like to feel the pressure to want to support and help someone but we just don't have it and all that this is not a, a diss or anything like that i know i'm over explaining but i just really want that to come across that i don't want anything to take away from the gratitude that we feel mm -hmm. and the thanksgiving we have but this is part of the story so you need to know these parts when you know the details of the story it makes the breakthrough and the outcome that much more Whoa, amazing, mm -hmm. right? Like, so in all of my casting, that from the casting and that's I did the first, the first one I ever did mm -hmm. until yesterday, that has never happened mm -hmm. where we only get like five or six people. Now, why is that significant? Because before I did that video, right? I was saying to the family, I was like, family, I think, you know, cause I'm always looking at the boat financially because I believe the wings have to do with financial provision. Um, and I'm just like, I'm like, family, I'm telling you what. Remember before the Bible B, we were here. We're like here right now. <laughs> we about right, we about ready to boop. <laughs> you know, one more little whoosh and we are literally off the waterfall. And yesterday with the Casting the Nets update video, it was just a proof of it because the same amount of views I normally get from those videos were on that video yesterday. And I was like, wow. And so... Another friend, remember the friend of mine who, who had the crown that the Lord wanted her to put on her tree this year? She, I'm, I'm gonna use her again. Where she was, she knew she was coming into some financial situations herself, but the Lord told her, he said, now listen, I don't want you coming to me. I don't want you saying stuff like, oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I, remember that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, what am I gonna do? And that man, the Lord used that and he put that on me. He was like, now I don't want you to start saying, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? It's like, what have you been doing this whole time? What do you mean, what you're going to do? You mm -hmm. you ain't going to do nothing but pray and trust mm -hmm. and follow the leading of the Spirit. Um, and it's really cool because the, the hotel here, we have such great favor mm -hmm. with the hotel here. They just love us. They know us. And we've been here since it opened. You know what I'm saying? They have a new manager right now. And he found out our story. And he was like, wow, really? Whoa. So see, there's some glory to God in that story mm -hmm. right there. Right? Mm -hmm. But... 
but I just wanted to tell you guys the details because it's like, it's not a disrespect on, oh, what a flop of a casting in this video that was. No, to me, I'm looking at it as like, not what am I gonna do, but oh, wow, God, what are you getting ready to do? Mm -hmm. Because look at all this stuff. We're seeing so many, I think a year ago, things were prophetic. And I feel like this, at the toward the end of this year, it's like we're seeing the manifestation of these things mm -hmm. actually happen, which we've been in a two, year transition out of the deep wilderness we could have been kind of going through deep sea compression decompression mm -hmm. these past two years before we can be really let out into the rest of the public you know because you don't want to get um, you know the, the 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 illness that you get from not decompressing fully oh, well, after mm -hmm. being in the deep ocean what they call it the bins or something like that the Mercedes Benz. Hey, no, I'm skin. Um, <laughs> oh, AMG G63. Anyway, so, <laughs> so, I think that's such a great element that we literally that casting the next video really yielded no fruit. And the funny thing is, the cool thing is that we got a couple offerings that sustained us before I uh, even made that video mm -hmm. from people who just regularly give to us and they were pretty decent amounts. So we're just like, oh, praise the Lord, thank you, Jesus. Because we needed that mm -hmm. for food and whatnot. And, and but then the uh, when the grandparents were here, that kind of took care of a lot of food too, mm -hmm. you know, and presents for the kids and all that. And we'll get into that later. But it's like once, you know, so we had the Bible be, then we had the sickness time, then we had the grandparents visiting after seven years of not seeing them, right? Yeah. And then they left and it's like, okay, it seemed like, and I think really after that, then we get, get, get attacked by the enemy. We really start getting attacked by the enemy on our faith and our belief and the promise and, and we'll, we'll look at everything's going back to normal. And it's like, no, it is not. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? <laughs> that's funny because that's actually what Joel was saying when he was he was afraid that things were going to go back to normal. And he's kind of just been sucked into the battle of all that himself, you know? Um, and so I'm just saying, with that boat vision, I believe that we're literally getting ready to see, I don't know how or when, but I believe we're getting ready to see what God's going to do because I feel like our boat is like the bottom of the foot of a priest getting ready to step into the Jordan. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Things are getting ready to part. There's gonna be a, a miraculous display of God in some form, somehow, that's going to just keep us going, but in a different way, where maybe we don't need to do the PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, and all that, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We've been feeling that for a while anyway, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that's there's gonna come a point where that it, it has to end, it's coming to an end, but we just don't know. A lot of times you get a sense of things you read the scripture, the prophets were always getting a sense of things, but they didn't know time frames all the time either. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of a lot of people who were given promises, some of them were given time frames, but a lot of them weren't. Mm -hmm. A lot of them had no idea, like, wow, all this stuff I'm seeing, when is this going to happen? Daniel, he was just told, in the end. Like, well, when is that? Is that in a couple years? <laughs> Things are getting ready to come to a close and your glorious kingdom's going to come. Is that going to come soon? The Lord's like, yeah, soon enough. <laughs> and Daniel was like, how many, how many thousands of years ago? But anyway, and so that's just where I feel like we're at with the, uh, the boat vision and God. I believe God's going to give us provision for the vision. And like Kay Nash said in her recent word, it's time to blast off. Mm -hmm. You know, we're about to blast off with the love of Jesus. Please, if you want to bless yourself extra with a little bit more, you can <laughs> go watch that video. What is that called? It's called It's Time to Blast yeah, Off, right? It's Time to Blast Off. Like it's Nash, her most recent. Her December she, word. Yeah, and she literally, I just posted it, Bro. I think, yesterday. <laughs> yep, got it. Yep. It's the prophetic calendar, K Nash Ministries. And look at this, 2024, it says, ahead. It's so, so, so super cool. Because the first year talks about, it's your time to be free and to go and to to, to launch. And I, now, now, I don't wanna, this is why y'all should get the calendar. I'm not gonna show you everything, but look at that person. You see what they're doing? 
Look at they're off. If you look at it, they are completely in the air. That's about where we're at right now. <laughs> we're about to do some Indiana Jones Last Crusader stuff <laughs> where we're just taking a step and it's like there's going to have to be a magical bridge. Like, oh, it's not magical. It was there the whole time. It was just optically illusioned from you and you yeah. couldn't see it. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to see some cool stuff. Yeah. So, that's the whole story. You know, I didn't want I didn't want casting the next video oh man we didn't get anything that's terrible no it's actually amazing because it's like wow god what do you this kind of fits right in mm -hmm. to exactly what you told me a while ago with the boat vision when did i get that boat vision i think it was on 10 11 yes wasn't it <laughs> <laughs> october 11th yeah because 10 and 11 and 11 10 have been big prophetic numbers for us god saying arise go on your journey and this is where you're going mm -hmm. you know deuteronomy was it deuteronomy 10 11 and then deuteronomy 11 10 yeah now did i make it clear this was k nash's prophetic calendar i don't think i said that yeah you did did i you said k nash k nash ministries but yeah you can uh, check that out yeah that's the first time we've ever gotten her calendar but. yeah praise the lord you know She's such an amazing woman of God, dude. Just don't believe the naysayers. I just kind of wanted to share some of what I felt was also just a reflection of the boat vision. Mm -hmm. You know, Devin kind of talked about like the financial aspect of it. But I also was really, I feel like for us, really in the month of November in particular, you know, it was like a waterfall you know waterfalls are really they're just beautiful and it is an end of something and mm -hmm. i feel like god mm -hmm. you know in that sense of crowning your year with goodness is almost like i am displaying myself in a magnificent way mm -hmm. and one of the ways was i think through the water falling and like i feel like that's was also represented when we were at the bible bee because a lot of times you can think about being washed with the word of God. Oh, and yeah. it was just really awesome while we were there because it really, one, there was, um, it's actually, I think, what was the name of it? Piercing Word. Oh, yeah. Piercing Word Ministries. Ministries. So amazing. What they amazing. do is they basically um, act out or interpret, like, yeah. do kind of a, play like form of the mm -hmm. word of God and they did a whole performance while we were there but literally walked through the story from how God is you know Jesus was the answer from the beginning starting in Genesis all the way through Revelation and so they're just hitting certain parts of it was like a living scripture. montage yeah of, of <laughs> scenes from the Bible but it was just so amazing because as they're going through I just felt like Lord this is like Put everything you've spoken to us over the last seven years into mm. one segment for like an hour. And this is what it would look like, you know, because hitting on creation, hitting on Abraham and David and, and Noah and Noah and yeah. just all. I mean, literally through it all. And even just the ideas of like Prophets the new heavens and new and earth. Fulfilling their word. Yeah. And, yeah. All of it. And so it was amazing. I was just like, wow, again, it was like, Lord, this is like a glorious display. I mean, the kids loved it. I mean, it was very like it kept you just so captured mm -hmm. um, the whole time you're watching. And then, of course, just the general whole purpose of the Bible beat was they were reciting scripture, reciting the word. I felt like it was just this glorious display of the Lord like the whole time we were there of mm -hmm. just like look at what God has done um, in in Joah's life but also mm. just in the lives of so many people there you know because you know how hard they studied and how yeah. much they worked to do what they did and um, <clears throat> and so it was kind of and then of course mixed in with just the financial provision it was just like god's like i have you i'm covering you i'm i am going to display myself on your behalf you know to to have you go through what you went through that was awesome and then and and part of this also i want to tie this in is i really feel like 
God started kind of moving in a way where God has used a pattern with us for many years now. And it's a spirit, soul, body, home. And particularly in 2019, there was um, most of the fall Those were all years. season. Yeah. <laughs> most of the fall season, God was speaking spirit, soul, body, home. And he, he used that pattern over and over again. And so by that, he would emphasize, like, we had a week where it was like God was speaking to the spirit. Mm-hmm. Um, there is, then we would have a week where God was focusing in on the soul. And then there was a week where it was focused on the body and the week focused on home. And so there was and just he these... he did that like three times. Yeah, three like times. October, November, December. And then we started literally going into years where mm-hmm. it was like, this year is focused on the spirit. This year is focused on the soul. This year has been focused on the body. And that was last year. And that was last year. And, and so we were connecting with a lot yes, of people in the body. Exactly. Like, literally, we got to visit some people. And there was, was just a lot of connections. Amazing. It was opening us up to connections which yeah. we hadn't had prior to that. Yeah. And then this year has been all about the home. It's been the year of the home. Oh and it's my gosh. been very much a... Undeniably. Focus not only on, like, the physical home of, like, God sewing in more uh, vision and insight into what he wants to do, but also just our family as a mm-hmm. home, you know, yeah. he, him placing himself in it. It's like, let the... the let Christ dwell in you, like make his home in you. Yeah. And, um, and I felt like, wow, I could even see that clear example, even with our, our son, Joah, where it's like, God's like, Hey, I'm putting this within you. I'm having my word go into your heart to m- make it home to reside in you. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, that's what we've been going through. But I feel like then we st- when we left for the Bible Bee, it was like God was almost bringing this pattern up again. He's like, hey, I'm touching on the spirit again. You know, my be in connection with my spirit, what I'm speaking, saying, like, listen to my spirit, but also see how the spirit of God is moving, you know. I'm going to stand up for a <laughs> sec. But also... I really felt that during our time. I had to stand up. <laughs> it wasn't working sitting down. <laughs> but also I felt like our time at the, the Bible Bee, particularly for Joah, was a time where God was really just speaking to his spirit, like lifting him up, showing him, like, look at what you can do like here's the, it was such an encouraging time for him mm-hmm. to to really rise above and and see the real joa yeah that's really what him. it was about right mm-hmm. it's about seeing the real joa and god saying like only by my spirit can this happen you know yeah um and me standing up, there's going to be some forced perspective things going on here, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm in the same spot, but look it, look it, look it. Anyway, but yeah, and so, yeah, I mean, it's like, it was such an amazing time. Like, Joel was just, he was on, he was wearing his cape, dude. I mean, mm-hmm. he was flying and just... And just loving it. He loved the interaction with so many people. He was a superhero. So I really felt like that spoke to the spirit. Like, just like rising up his spirit. But also, it was just really good for our whole family. Just kind of a time of of lifting up. A lot of laughing and fun. fun. And just, it was just really, really great time which is indicative of the spirit romans fourteen seventeen, for the kingdom of god is what it's not about getting the food one likes the bible be proved that um <laughs> Devin, that was just wrong but no it's not about getting the food one likes but it's about righteousness peace and joy in the holy yeah, spirit and we definitely That's experienced like. that while we were there and um 
Yeah, and so that's like, it's like only by the spirit. It's like a symbol of the spirit. The mm -hmm. presence of the spirit, this is what he does. Yeah. You know? And so then when we came back, I felt like there, there was a... Like a transition? Transition and a shift to where it was really about kind of the soul mm -hmm. and God addressing issues within the soul. And, I, and so it was interesting because obviously we came back we were around a lot of people we're not used to being around a ton of people and there was like 1500 people there <laughs> so we all ended up sick luckily it, it wasn't like it was you were sick the lion got the worst yeah because i think he already went there with a little something yeah and then he came back with a little something extra and a little bit more <laughs> you know <laughs> and um so we we ended up coming back and we were all just kind of laid out for just resting and, and mm -hmm. things like that. But I really felt like it ended up being a good time because mm -hmm. um, we needed that transition time. We needed some time to just kind of sit and process and which you can do when you really can't do much else. You're just like, yeah. all right, let's just sit down. I got to catch up on calendar stuff, which was really good. Um, That's just another way of her saying journaling. Yeah, journaling. She's, she does yeah. note taking, preserving the archives yes. of the, <laughs> of the Lavore journey. Yeah, you and know? so, um, but God was also working on just issues like some things would pop up and rise up and it was just like God's like here let's address these things <clears throat> of the heart and so it was just a um, good it was, transition time yeah it was a good transition time and um, but actually it ended up being like uh, my family came in uh, to visit and they actually arrived like the day after we had come back but yeah we were just we're like uh, we are sick like there's just no way we can do anything or would want to even be around each other because you pretty much so get exposed, sick yeah. um and so um it was just kind of like all right they were here our our kids didn't know because we just we know our children and so <laughs> It was like we wanted to keep it a surprise yeah. and um so basically on thanksgiving day uh we met up with them to go to dinner and um a huge surprise that the kids were all like what totally they're here like this is away. crazy yeah. um and like it was on Devin, the 23rd right it was on yeah. thanksgiving day it was right? on thanksgiving day like, which, they've been here since the 19th but yeah. <laughs> we <Yeah>. didn't <laughs> But, so that's um, what you're... Well, let me break in for a second because that's what you're saying. That's why it was such a good... It, the sickness actually turned out to be a good thing because we we needed that little buffer between the Bible Bee and the and the, and the, the parents coming. Because we needed to process yeah. everything and, and just be able to like kind of sit in like what God did there yeah. and kind of, you know, come into a place of just like, okay, we're ready to like go forward. Yeah. So even though we were sick, it actually turned out to be a good thing. Yeah. So. And so, um, we went and met up with them. It was actually, I think if anybody saw on your Facebook posts, um, <laughs> I'm still apparently dealing with stuff. <laughs> oh, like um, who was here? Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. um, but just that we had not we had not seen them for seven years. Um, yeah. My brother had, as many of you know, oh, have yeah. seen some of our videos. He visited about a little over a year ago. Um, but it was actually their first time ever meeting our youngest, um, mm -hmm. who's almost six and a half. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, because I was actually pregnant with him the last time we and saw them. And, uh, December 2016. Yeah. And yeah. so it was literally almost seven years to the day. It was one month shy from the last time that we yeah. saw them. We saw them December 23rd. Yeah. So this time we saw them November 23rd. Yeah. But it was, it ended up being, um, just a really fun time. They, of course, wanted to do lots of things with the kids. And, um, so we got to go to the zoo, mm -hmm. do just some fun activities and, um, it was just they really enjoyed it um mm -hmm. got to hang out for basically four days um and then they also d decided to go ahead and do like a little christmas with them mm -hmm. they got to open some presents um and and so it was just this a really cool time and i felt like also just 
kind of was that soul aspect of it. I felt like there was just like God kind of, the fact that they came to visit, I felt was very like a prophetic um, mm -hmm. and, and something that maybe we'll talk about in another video. But, um, but even just the possibility of opening up the relationship. When we saw them back in 2016, we really felt like God was saying like, this is a time to say goodbye. Um, and, Little did we know. And God really just... <laughs> I mean, we said goodbye to everything. Yeah, really just kind of started shifting and closing things off. Um, and this time, though, there's just this sense of, like, time to say time hello. hello. Um, and just that, you know, I don't know where the Lord will lead, mm -hmm. um, you know, and in, in what direction but um but it's not uh, like just like the goodbye then was a goodbye to everything work uh my writing or i mean lots of every i mean like literally everything we put everything on hold but it's like now it's like we're coming into a time where it's going to be a saying hello to everything yeah which which brings the whole Noah's Ark thing back into the picture because like Noah he gathered all of these animals onto his ark to save for the new world so there came that time where Noah let everything out right yeah. and that's what we've been filled with for the past seven years yeah with the vision and the dream and a lot of these things came before like in 2016 there was a summer of 2016 when the Lord gave you that word during your break time at work it was like I want you to move to Nashville and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do this it's like okay <laughs> this better be the Lord <laughs> you know what I mean but you really were you you that was a word that you got from the Lord in 2016 that you really fought for that and just I'm really I really just want to hear from you and you had to step out in faith with it mm -hmm. and and then obviously it was a word from the Lord yeah at this point I think we can say that was a word okay cool <laughs> <laughs> But for those set for, for this, so then from 2017 up until now, it's just been like filling us with all this vision, mm -hmm. filling us with all this promise, filling us with the, uh, a year of the spirit, a year of the soul, a year of the body. And now we're in the year of the home where the vision God's given us for home goes way beyond just our little, you know, Family. four bedroom two offices four car garage thing that we prayed for in january it's so much more than just us so much more god has a vision that he wants to do with us like he did with joseph like he did with abraham like he did with david the vision that was set before before them was much bigger even in god's mind than what they were believing for you know and that's kind of where we're at just such a big vision for the home um it's really about building the altar of God and the house of God. Um, but there's a physical representation of that as well. And so, and so that's kind of like that say hello is kind of like a letting everything out, everything that's been stored up. Mm -hmm. And we're coming to this season, we are, we're going to be sensitive to the Lord's timing, but when things are going to just start being released again, mm -hmm. we're going we're gonna to go back into that which he had us lay down we're gonna pick back up again yeah but man how much different are we now than we were back then you know yeah and so yeah and so so that was also a, a piece of the time of just saying like wow god what are you doing here like how are you opening up certain relationships um mm -hmm. and we'll just see as as the word continues to go but um but also, I really felt like, wow, this is a time of the soul. And, like, one of the things you think about with the soul is, like, eating. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it was just kind it's of good like, for the soul. <laughs> you know, like, having soul food. And we definitely, the time that they were there here, they were just like, we really want to, like take you guys out and you know take you to different places went and to the so, cheesecake factory oh my gosh never i've never we've we never still eat, still eaten there have cheesecake leftovers in there oh like, my god it's gonna take you like five days to get through this. no way we're letting you eat through this <laughs> yeah. in one sitting we love you we don't want you to die yeah 
<laughs> but um you know yeah I mean, we had here, never been there those before are it like was huge, huge. <laughs> it's like giving it to a six-year-old he can just like get one two okay you're done yeah <laughs> for <laughs> real literally gonna take you forever <laughs> but um but it was just really good i think overall for everybody it was just this really good time and yeah. um well and really um, enjoyed it so the and so the the we're gonna talk about Annalise. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so, so with the spirit, it was connected with Joah, mm-hmm. and that's very significant because the spirit is always. When we talk about the spirit and spirit, soul, body, home, and spiritual things, the spirit part is almost always connected to Joah, yep. isn't it? Yep, always. Um, and then the soul part was connected to Annalise, mm-hmm. and so when she found out, I mean she. Her soul was doing okay, even being sick, because she was just, it was almost like a soul test that she was going through. But then when she found out that her grandparents were here and all that, it was just so good for her soul. Yeah. You know? And then they took her, they they wanted to take us on a, uh, like a shopping spree to buy stuff and all that stuff, but she got way more than everybody else did. <laughs> yeah. Because we were just like, I don't know, we can use uh, some pants. The kids need some pajamas. I know him and him, they need some pajamas. And, they, you know, and the grandparents were like, we're just willing to do whatever. Yeah. You know, they're such givers. They're yeah. huge, huge giving people. And But Annalise, girl, that girl came out looking like a scene from the movie Pretty Woman. Had yeah. bags on each hand, just walking down the street. <laughs> and I was just like, and it was just so good for her soul. Not only that, but I believe it was actually a fulfillment of her prophetic word. Yeah. The Lord said to her mm-hmm. about getting the things that she wants and she's going to be able to get the things that she desires and and it was surrounding that Bible B time frame yeah you know and and so it was just really really awesome for her soul because her soul was needing that yeah she had been expressing the this need for her soul was hungry you know and so yeah kind of came and went yeah and so we've <laughs> seen like the spirit soul and then I feel like we've entered into the body, which the body has to do, um, I think it's connected with the blessing. Um, mm-hmm. And and that's actually our, um, Awaya, he, he has our always represented born. the blessing of the Lord, but God has also connected the body with him, which really makes sense because when, especially when you talk about the relationship aspects of it, um, he's very much like he enjoys being around others Mm -hmm. um and i'm not really a hundred percent sure how god's going to do this blessing time because i do feel like hey we've entered into it but just like and this week i've been seeing 10 22 like crazy yeah we've been talking about blessing it's come up and so with the blessing in previous years god has kind of there was this one te- one year where God was saying it was like a yellow crayon in mm. the sense that it can be very subtle and almost missed. But it's like, if you, I don't, but it's like, there is an importance to it. And, and so that's kind of been something I've been looking out for. It's just like, okay, Lord, well, you know, the blessing sometimes it can be overlooked. Mm-hmm. It can be missed because we, it's just there or you're just not necessarily, it doesn't stand out all the time. Just like a liar. Yeah. Which is just like, <laughs> you can just be there showing out. And he's not standing out. He doesn't, he's not standing out with issues, issues or, or things to be dealt yeah. with. Or he's not a, he's not an outspoken, loud personality until he is. <laughs> uh, but it's like, you can, you can kind of miss him. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because he's, he's not the loudest bird in the nest. That's the bottom line. Yeah. And so it's like, you know, the, but just that sense of like, okay, well, we don't want to... I just, I just don't know how the Lord is going to fully display. But also, I mean, there is, though, been a talk of the blessing of the Lord having also to do with the financial blessing. Mm-hmm. Like, God has brought up, like, just that sense of, like, 
the rain and you know the blessing has to do with the rain it has to do what what was the rain well it would be like financial blessing because rain brought forth the crops and then people had food to eat they mm -hmm. had food to sell they had food to feed their cattle they you know they had the provision that they needed you yeah. know for us you know yes we still need god to bring the rain because we still need food and stuff but a lot of us we're not growing our own food what yeah. we need is for the provision of god to come and so that we can do what god has for us to do mm -hmm. and so god provision was speaking to vision. us just the other day mm -hmm. he was speaking about the rain coming he was speaking about oh yeah um mm -hmm. the vindication rain also the lord gave me that word about like expect an abundant blessing yeah he was like that's what's gonna happen so that's why i haven't really been too freaked out about our financial situation yeah because <laughs> i'm just like all right well this if this blessing time is going to result in us going to the promise am i getting ahead of things mm -hmm. um which would be the home Mm -hmm. That would be the home time, which is connected to Isaiah, who is the sign of the promise. Because he was to go. an actual home birth. He, he was the only home birth we've ever had. Mm -hmm. And uh, Aliyah, the blessed birth that he was, he just kind of eased out. Yeah. That was the first time she had an epidural. Yeah. And you pushed once, and he just, and you stopped pushing, but then he just kept on coming. And it was like, bloop. And yeah. he came out, and you were like, oh. <laughs> we're done yep we're done it's like well that's a blessing mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and yeah so so yeah and just the position that our boat's in on the water and it's just like all these things are kind of coming together and we've seen this kind of stuff happen before and so we're just waiting to see what the lord's gonna do yeah as far as like you know how things are actually are going to work out what they're, what they're gonna look like and but but it has we will, we been, will tell the story if the lord allows yeah but it, <laughs> it, it has been interesting just because god has been speaking to the his blessing that brings forth the rain and all of that but he's also been speaking to um blessed are those who wait for and hope for the salvation mm. of the lord it's lamentations 326 um in in Honestly, that has a whole, for us, a whole story that is connected oh with Elijah about um, just the encounter he had with the Lord. And so it's just like, okay, God, it is clear that you are speaking to the blessing. You're connecting it here. And so, you know, I just expect that even for our son, like much like Joah, he was very much like encouraged by in his spirit by what the Lord was doing. Our daughter encouraged in her soul by what was going on. It's like I feel like our son, he's like you to expect an encouragement of him for his his own heart mm -hmm. um, because of what the Lord does. Um, and and so to just, I expect to see that, you know, and I think we're still going through. So, you know, I don't have a full story yet, but, yeah. uh, but then also there's just that sense of like, okay, Lord, I do believe like if you continue with this pattern, then there will be an emphasis on the home. And so obviously we, we have our own like, Lord, it would be great if it was this, if it was that. It's like, is this the time <laughs> of the coming of your promise? But... Like, yeah, wow. <laughs> but at the same time, it's just like, okay, well, we'll let you unfold Decide. things, yeah. you know, because ultimately so much of the time we can, you get prophetic words, visions, dreams, you know, you just, you have to allow God. You don't to know where they fit in time. Unfold those yeah. things. Unless the Lord specifically tells you. Yeah. yeah. Which for <laughs> us, again, God's like, I have blinded you from the time frame. We don't understand. I mean, I do think he does yeah. give us some wisdom and insight into certain aspects, but... Regarding time. Regarding yeah, time. Sure. But there are other places where it's just like, no, I have you blind, but I have you there on purpose because I am strengthening you. I am creating a hunger in you. And I'm, you know, I feel like we've also been talking about recently, like, man, Lord, 
I feel like so much of what we've been through is like when we're on the other side, we'll really truly realize what God has done. Yeah. You know, it's almost like a what? What? Oh, the the that one movie with the I think it's the Karate Kid, where he oh, keeps yeah. having him wax, wax, on, the, wax, wax the car and do all this stuff, and he get, he's getting so frustrated because he's like, "Aren't you going to teach me, like?" what I'm supposed to do and how to, to fight. karate, dude. And it's like, but all you have me do is painting your fence and fixing your car and doing all this and stuff. And wash the floor. But then there comes <laughs> the moment when the instructor, the master, uh, steps Mr. Miyagi. In. Thank you. I don't remember. Hello, Mr. Miyagi. Come <laughs> he, on now. He comes in and then he's like, all right, I'll show you what you've been doing. He's like, paint the fence and he does his move you know and it's like yeah. it's like whoa i didn't even realize you were training me this whole time and so i feel like that for for so many of just us just like joseph just like abraham just like david yep like, you've been, been training, training us this whole time the whole for time. the very work that god has for us to do and so i just feel like and that just when we do see that because it's really a scene you know he was in in the the karate kid was blind to what was really happening mm -hmm. and i feel like that with us like it's like we're really blind in so many ways to what god is really doing and how he's really training us but there's going to come a moment when god's going to reveal and show himself and say look at what i've been doing and i mm -hmm. think it will be a moment where it's just there's going to be just awe before the lord of going <gasps> that's what you were doing wow i had no idea yeah <laughs> you know and it and it's like i feel like for so many people in the body of christ who have been going through particularly wilderness seasons that it's just like you're going to have a moment where you're going to realize the training and what god has really done how he's actually strengthened you and you're going to be amazed well it's like kane ash said in her word that we listened to yesterday about the time to take off the blast uh -huh. off she's like it's going to be worth it yes you're going to see that it was worth it you know yeah and she's prophesying for december so i'm just like hey Mm -hmm. December's still here. You know, that's supposed to be a, basically on our last month of our two-year transition. Then we go into a new beginning because that will be year eight of our journey. And I don't believe, I believe our journey is separated into sevens and fives, uh, personally. And we went through uh, a, a five-year time. Then, now we're going through a two-year journey time and at the beginning of that time was actually a preparation to go into the wilderness it can get a little confusing uh there's a lot of plates on top of plates <laughs> but like a lot of time frames on top of time frames but really it's broken up into sevens and fives five years of you know training two years of of transition and then you launch into another five year slash seven year cycle you know kind of like a week you know you go through you know next monday is not going to be the eighth day no it's going to be the first day of the second week yeah you know what i mean or however that works you know or whatever week you're in or month you're in whenever you're watching this <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> um and so it just it's just a cycle of sevens you know and i believe we're getting ready to we're coming to the end of one cycle of sevens and we're getting ready to go into another but within that is the first year and then there's a total of five years and then there's a two-year transition all of it together is inside of this seven-year capsule mm -hmm. so um and where you grow and develop and mature before the lord in his way and his timing and everything he's got in in, in mind you know yeah so so is that kind of where we're at right now? I think so. There's yeah. really other our, things our we could. Our boat is about, got about four inches left before it's off the, <laughs> before off it's the off cliff. Before it's off the cliff, and um, but, no, no wings in sight but, yet. But, but there by was faith, no dipping down. So there's no dipping down. You just keep going. I don't see anybody, you know, threatening to kick us out yet. So <laughs> we're okay. <laughs> we're okay. You but. know, we still have a van that we've had since last year. Um. You know, the support goes to that. Um, we're still eating. 
we're, we're still alive. Yeah. So, you know, praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, so. um, but yeah, so I think that's kind of a good little update. Um, little. It's maybe. a little update. Well, you know, little. <laughs> relatively yeah for the lavores but um which but, will be our official last name at some point you know when you get married you change your name you know when we get married to the promise of god here we're gonna be officially changing our name yeah you know from more to lavore <laughs> did i talk about that already i think i yeah. did right yeah i, I mean that. you've mentioned that although i think that might have been in a video that we didn't oh post. really I don't know. Like, why is it more? Why is it Lavore and not more? I feel like I did it already. Oh, well. I think you did. Because Lavore, that's my, uh, that, that was my writing name. Mm -hmm. But it's also my actual legal middle name. So, but our last name is Moore. And because someone said, they called, they said Joa Moore. Did they say his name right? <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, I feel like I said that already. Anyway. Yeah. But. But yeah, so a um, for those who give, they know my last name is Moore. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's all we have for you guys today. Yeah. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. Yes, and um, we will be back with more. I am sure there there really are some really cool things that God mm -hmm. has done that we didn't even touch on. But um, like what? Can we get a trailer? Uh, the the medals. Oh, the finishing medals. Yes. yes. So we might we might need to do a video about that. Yeah. But we'll just see how the Lord leads. Oh, but God. um God does so much God does more stuff that I forget than I remember. Yeah. Seriously. But we do pray that you guys are blessed, you are encouraged. Mm -hmm. Um and that just that the Lord would just lift you guys up and that you would just see that he is moving on your behalf. And so I just want to pray for you guys right now and then we can close. Mm -hmm. So, Father, I just want to come and lift up the body to you. Lord, I pray that you would just be with those who have continued to press on and press forward. And Lord, um, I do pray and against any discouragement that's coming against any Amen. winds of discouragement Amen. that might blow um, a across um, your people, Lord, that you would um, that you would come and you would be the blocker of the winds, Lord, and that mm -hmm. you would just protect um, your people and that even just we would know we would you could we can feel the winds but we're not affected by the winds and so father um i pray instead that you would send the wind of your spirit mm -hmm. god that you would come forth that you would lift up your people god that you would um establish all those who have continued um to wait for you um, to hope for you um, and hope for you as their salvation, God, and that you would um, lift them up and place them into their seats at the table so that they might feast um, on the promises that you have given. And so, Father, we just thank you uh, for your faithfulness to your word. We thank you that you are good and gracious, and we just um, pray just continue shower your blessing upon your people and yeah. send forth the rains lord in the name of jesus and we just praise you and give you thanks for all things in the name of jesus amen amen look who decided to join us <laughs> <laughs> mr personality <laughs> you yeah. have something you wanted to say no <laughs> some, some crazy hair. We, we should have we should have took you to makeup first. <laughs> took you to the makeup department, makeup and hair before you get on this video. <laughs> All right. Well, you want to say bye bye. Bye. All right. Well, we'll see bye. you later. <laughs> see you bye. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> bye. All right. Now press that red button up there. Nice and careful. This one. Uh huh.